I get questions all the time from people asking me, what did it feel like? It feels like sticking your hand in a beehive and being stung a thousand times. I really thought it was almost like having a heart attack or my heart was gonna explode. What went through my body is probably enough to light up the whole state of New York. It's like being hit by a Mack truck. It was horrible. It felt like a ball bat. The impact was extremely hard. When we think about getting struck by lightning, it seems almost impossible. And yet, every year, it happens to hundreds of people. So if you are a survivor, what happens after? And who do you turn to for support? I guess I was selfish. I didn't know other people were out there that had been injured like I had, not to put me on a pedestal, but I just didn't know anybody that had been struck by lightning. And the doctors surely didn't know what to do. There was nothing in the medical journals back then. In the time since Steve was struck in 1969, Dr. Marianne Cooper has published over a dozen research papers on lightning injuries. There's almost nothing that can say yes or no, this person was struck by lightning or was not struck by lightning. That's one of the reasons it's so difficult for lightning victims to get care. The doctor told me, I really don't know what to do. I don't look hurt, but I live with pain every day of my life. If someone calls you with a gun in their mouth, and I've had it happen several times, and I break out in a sweat and I start praying, God give me the words that I need to say. Steve has talked people out of suicide, and to me that's what this group is all about. We've talked 24 out of suicide to date. One of them would have been worth my having been struck. Steve and his wife Joyce started a support group for lightning strike survivors almost 30 years ago. I'll come back and get a cookie in a minute. The community's grown from three members in 1989 to over a thousand members today. This group is probably like no other. We understand each other. This is actually our 10th anniversary of having the Lightning Strike and Electric Shock Survivors Conference here in Lynchburg. Right. Wonderful. It's been two years now since the Lightning Strike. Things are still getting worse, but this here is the only place that I feel understood. It's the only place, place I feel safe um, and normal. So just how likely is it that they were the ones struck? In the United States, we have about 20 to 25 million cloud-to-ground flashes every year. Ron Hawley is a meteorologist who specializes in severe storm research. In the United States, the number of people killed by lightning is 20 to 30 per year. About 10 times as many people are injured. I was at a game duty at school. Working at an airport, laying in bed one night. I had gone into the ticket booth. It came in through the building, came in through my left arm. The plane gets struck and indirectly it goes through me. Next thing I knew, right through the window, bam. And I actually saw it come out of my fingertips and go into a light socket. To date, I've had 45 surgeries lightning related, but we could have been snapped out instantly. There was that second chance. We've been given good opportunities now to help other people. It's been a lifesaver to me. It's been, it's been what has stopped me from being so depressed. No one wants to feel like an outcast, so this group helped me feel like whole again. 